best Christmas present ever. It's a Lego bucket shaped like a Lego he guy head. Awesome. Uh, afternoon, everybody. Uh, Happy New Year. So, yeah, I'm going to start things fresh uh, this year. Um, hopefully, I won't get, you know, insanely far behind on vlogs like I did before. A uh, lot of stuff going on these first few months, but uh, I'll talk more about that later. Because right now, i got to head over to Mel's, and Mel, Zach, and I are going to head to Walmart and Dollar Tree, go do some shopping, because we all have money now, and have things we got to get. So, Stick thief. You're stick thief. I, I'm going to probably get hurt doing this, though, so... If you videotape that... Oh god, don't. Sorry, I was not trying. Good catch. Yep. Oh, Mel. Ahem. Don't leave me hanging. It's multi purpose, so you can hang it or you can. I, I was. On it. Knuckles. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Jack Jack is mesmerized. They added fireworks to Minecraft, and I downloaded a world that launches 7,000 fireworks in like five minutes. I think it's just about out. It seems like there's not as many going up now. But uh, I meant to set this off last night and we'd watch it, and I forgot. And they also kicked me out before midnight. <laughs> Quarter to ten in the end. Yeah. And even if you hadn't, I'd forgotten about it. So, we're watching it now. And it's cool. And Jack Jack is entertained. He has money. Everybody has to think you know what cool it is. I like it. Though. Like, Two minutes of this was cool. Now this is just annoying. It's still going. I, I think it, it's, it's it's done. I think it's done. <laughs> oh, that would no, it's just comical. Just the the couple looks like only two dispensers are shooting off now. No, it it was awesome. I like it. Mal likes it. Mm -hmm. And nobody cares what you think. Jack, Jack yes, I do. Jack, Jack liked it. I liked the first. Now he's just two sitting minutes. here. He goes to a doctor tomorrow. So let's see. To catch you all up on what's been going on out here, uh, I have. Uh, I found out that I have carpal tunnel in my hands uh... very bad and i have to have surgery i go in on february seventh uh, to have carpal tunnel surgery down on my right hand that's gonna suck it's gonna lay me up for quite a while but gotta do what you gotta do because the things hurt so bad uh... they go takes next to nothing to go numb uh... right now i don't have my little tripod that i use to hold on to my camera it's over in my coat <laughs> and i'm being lazy and don't really feel like getting up to go get it and just holding it the camera like this uh... my hands starting to go numb pretty quick uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, I am getting some new equipment to help ease the issues that I'll have. Uh, I'm going to be getting a new shower chair. Uh, it'll actually be a shower wheelchair, so it'll basically be like a normal wheelchair, but it can go in the shower. So. I can, you know, transfer onto it, 
you know, out here in the living room with help from PCA, and then they can just push me right into the shower. Uh, I'm going to get a power chair for, you know, getting her around because I won't be able to push. So, we'll be renting a power chair temporarily. Okay, got to switch. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get what's called a Hoyer lift. And for those that don't know what a Hoyer lift is, it's basically a, you can think of it basically like a crane for people. You know, a lot of gimps have them to get them, uh, have them taken out of bed and put into their chair and, you know, from the chair into bed and whatnot. Don't really know if I'm going to need that, but we're going to rent one, uh, you know, just to have it because I could see really not needing it when I have my right hand done but when we go in to have the left one done depending on how sorry I'm, my nose is all stuffed up but depending on how healed up my right hand is you know I might actually have to have that to get me in and out of bed so We'll see how that goes. And I'll probably end up having to be reassessed and get more hours, PCA hours, because I'm probably going to, you know, for at least the first week after the surgery, uh, I'm going to have someone come in to get me out of bed to help me, you know, come in around noontime to help me go to the bathroom and to come in, you know, at night to put me into bed so we'll see how you know that all works but uh... Let's see what else is going on Mel's going gonna be going back to school starting on January 14th uh... Zach has moved in with Mel uh, which is good. They're going to be saving a little bit of money, but also the whole like food stamp system uh, is kind of weird. You would most of the time when people live together, they get more, but for some reason they're not exactly going to be getting more. They're going to be getting less just kind of weird but they, they're still not even 100% sure what the hell they're going to give them so but they'll figure it out and that's really about everything that's going on right now uh, I guess uh, after I have the surgery done on my hand my first hand um, uh, in February it'll be at least two months before they do my left hand. <laughs> yeah, at least two months. And it'll all depend, you know, if at that point my right hand is still, you know, real, yeah, I can wait longer. Uh, it'll be a minimum of two months. So, let's see, February, March, April. So that'd be April. That'll be fun. Have uh, surgery on my hand done you know, April, so it'll be pretty late up for my birthday, but I'd rather do that, and I was saying, oh, wait till after your birthday. No, I can't do that, because uh, my best friend, who I went to college with in Austin, is getting married in September, so I'm not putting off these surgeries, because I want to be able to push myself in my manual chair down the aisle at his wedding. His, you know, he asked me to be in his wedding, so I'm going to be there and I want to be able to push myself. So that that's a goal for me, so I would rather be laid up for my birthday than not be able to push myself at his wedding. So, but right now I'm just waiting for Zach and Mel to get back they went to Target to get some stuff. Uh, 
Zach could be getting my Christmas present because he, you know, we're all broke, so he didn't have any money to get Christmas present for me. He got stuff, you know, for the rest of his family members, and he said, you know, I won't be able to get yours. I know what I'm going to get you, but I won't be able to get it until after, you know, the first uh, January. So that was fine with me. I still have to get the second half of his present. I gave him that Zotz art painting that I made. Uh, the small one that I got because you guys don't know this because it's in part of the vlogs that uh, got cut short. But um, Mel and I each got a painting like that. Yeah, he sent us those and Ryan, the other guy that participated in the painting, chair painting, he sent us those. And we found out for a painting about less than a quarter of the size, just a little tiny piece like that, in a cheap plastic frame, he charges like 45 bucks. Or maybe it was, I don't remember. It was like 20, somewhere in the 20 to $45 range. That, that big and it's a high quality frame with you know glass not like plexiglass it's actual glass glass that is worth some coin and that I, I was floored when I got that and so since I got that that small one that I had I was like what am I going to do with that now and so I was like, oh shit, I can give it to Zach for Christmas. So he's got that. i got to buy him a frame for it yet. Uh, Would have done it today when I was out and about, but I forgot to measure it. So probably do that. And when I go to see my shrink on Friday, whenever I go to see my shrink, I'll uh, probably run somewhere and see if I can find a frame for it then. Uh, other than that, just chilling. Jackson! He's just off in his own Oh, there he goes. Hi. Hi. You got a little mouthy? Yeah, thank you. Here, give it to Uncle Alfie. Jack Jack. Jack. The light shine in your eye, how's the blinding going? That's what's this Jack Jack trying to play with the cord that I'm moving? No, he's actually in the bathroom, so. Oh, something was playing with the cord I was moving. Night. See you tomorrow.